Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Photoshop Elements, and Adobe Camera Raw. In this video, I'll be taking a look at pasting images into another using special paste commands, paste into, paste outside, and paste in place. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So I've got my first image here, which I've got from the Photolia stock website, just of these frames, and I'm going to paste some images in. I'm not going to paste them all. That would take up far too much time and bore you silly. So I'm just going to do a couple, maybe three. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over to my toolbar and grab my quick selection tool. Then come onto my image, make sure that's selected and just click and hold just so as I select that square. Let's go and get our first image, shall we? I'm going to go up and get Matt Angelic. And I'm going to go to Select, select All, and then Edit and Copy. Now go back to Frames. And this time I'm going to go to Edit, Paste Special, and Paste Into. And sure enough, it pastes it into that selection. If we have a look in our Layers palette, however, you'll see that it's made a mask for me. Now, this is very helpful, especially in the fact that it hasn't linked the two together. If you've used masks before, you'll often find that there's a little link in between the two. In this case, it hasn't done that, which means we can use them independently. So making sure that my image itself is selected, I can press Control T to transform. And I'm going to press Control 0 just so as I can see all my bounding boxes. And then holding down Shift, just move my image around until I get it roughly where I want it. That wasn't a bad guess to start with. There we go. Let's move him up a little bit. And sure enough, there we go. Let's click the tick. I'm going to press Control-0 just to zoom back in again. Let's go and do another one. Let's uh, go back to our background layer, which is where our frames are on, and just click. And I'm just going to hold, click and hold, and sure enough, it pops it into the rectangle for me. Let's go and get one of Nick. Now, this time I want to get a portion of this photograph, so I'm going to Make a rough square kind of there you go that'll do and i'm going to press Control c to copy and then go back to my frames and edit paste special paste into and again we've got our layer with a mask on it make sure that i've selected the layer Control t and then just bring this in and there we have it there's nick in his frame Good. Click the tick. Let's do one last one. So back on my background layer, quick selection. And there we go. Go and get Pete. And I'm going to select Control A, Control C, and then back to frames, and then paste into. And sure enough, there's Pete. Control T. And let's bring this one down. There we go. There's Pete in his own frame as well. Good. We're looking good. I'm going to click the tick. Now you may have noticed there was another paste special in there. Uh, paste outside. So let's have a look at that one just for now. I'm going to click on my background layer and then select this one here. Uh, I've already got Pete on the clipboard. So let's go edit, paste special and paste outside. And sure enough, it pastes everything around the selection. Now I've not found a use for this. If you do know one, then please drop it in the comments wherever you're watching this. I'll be interested to know how you use this particular one. Let's get rid of that one for now though. But that's paste outside. If it's helpful, it's helpful to you. That's good enough. Now I'm very happy with the position of these files, but uh, not the picture. So here I've got another image room. PSD, and I would like these pictures to be in exactly this position, but on this picture. And that's very easily done thanks to the paste commands, the paste special. So let's go up to my top one, which should be Matt. There he is. And what I'm going to do here is I want to select Matt, but if I press Control and click on the image here, you'll notice that I get all of it. as Control D to deselect. But if I hold down Control and click on the mask, I only get what's inside the mask there, even though I'm going to be copying from the layer. That's quite helpful. So, Edit and Copy. 
and now I can go over to room and I can say edit paste special and paste in place I've got no selection made so paste into and outside are grayed out so paste in place and we should find that it's in exactly the same place as it was with our other image there we go nice one let's give Matt a frame control G A to duplicate that frame layer that I've already made and put a frame on him let's control T just to size that around and there we are Matt's now got a nice frame around him and he's in exactly the right place click the tick let's do just one more let's go over and get the picture of Pete this time I'm going to select Pete so control and click actually on the thumbnail of the image so I'm getting it all this time and press control C and then back to my room and then edit and paste special and paste in place and sure enough he's in exactly the same place let's go and give Pete a frame control J to duplicate that bring that up to the top and make it visible and then I can move this into place as well and let's control T to transform and bring that out and up a little bit and that's looking good click the tick now he's overhanging this frame but that's okay because we can just select what we want there we go so we select what we want and then on the layer that holds Pete's image we can just add a mask and sure enough there he is pasted in place exactly where we wanted him so there we go that's the commands in the paste special we do have paste into paste outside and paste in place i'm eric rano thank you very much for bearing with me i'll see you next time bye bye for now